Okay, this is Kermit the Record Breaker Superstar Maker here near Montgomery, Alabama, actually in Prattville, Alabama with Mr. Earl Holloman. He was the world champion human beatbox uh, up in New York City in 1985. Earl, uh, back then, like 1985, we're talking a long time ago, that's what, 25 years ago now? Yes, 25 years ago. And at that time, New York was the prominent rap um, entity of the world. You know, how was it for you to come from an area like Cleveland to go up to New York to, 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 to compete against people from all over the world to eventually become the human beatbox champ? How was that experience like? Well, it was an experience of a lifetime. A lot of people didn't think that I would, that a no-name uh, in New York, I was considered a no-name, would be able to come up there and win the whole thing. But it was real static for me. It was a chance of a lifetime, and I had nothing to lose. I was hungry at the time. And uh, we went up there, and I just put my best foot forward and won the whole thing. Okay. So how many uh, people you had to compete with? Oh, man. Uh, the two hardest components, the two hardest people uh, that were left uh, that came down to three was myself, a man by the name of Eugene Eady, and Mixed Machine Wise, and Stetson Sonic. It ended up coming down between me and... Uh, Human mix machine wise, and I end up winning. Now there were at that time there were people like Dougie Fresh that was doing that, and Biz Marker. Where were those guys at that time? How did they let you slip away with that title when they're like, you know? Um, well, well, a, a lot of they, they were well informed before I got there. Uh, I had just come off a tour earlier uh, that year. Uh, Biz Marker, you knew about me from Roxanne and Shantan. Dougie Fresh, he had heard about me from other rap artists that were uh, on the tour with us. And a lot of them chose to stay away. Oh, okay, so so you kind of like a, a little Kermit Henderson, huh? Where people know, that, you know, when they see him, when Kermit come in town, it's time to bow down. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so to speak. And here's a here's a uh, here's a little tidbit that my name Biz got that from me. Roxanne Shante took that back to him. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, and I'm sure that the people from Facebook would enjoy hearing about this history, because as you know, we are coming up on um, Black History Month, and, and then in uh, January we celebrate uh, the Honorable Dr. Martin Luther King's sure. birthday, so we have a lot of things come up as far as history. That's good history, too, just in the music business, and that's what I'm in. That's what I've been in forever. Yes, sir. So we appreciate your time, Earl, and you have a nice day, and thanks for joining us here on Superstar Central on Facebook. All right, thanks a lot, Kermit.